And welcome back to Bros in a Landfill. Uh, we are in Bianco Hills and we're about to go take down the legendary PD Piranha, mythical Pokemon of the Mario Land. My, my favorite uh, boss in the Subspace Emissary. <laughs> I, actually, I can't deny that. Uh, it's a shame that he's so early on. It's pretty um, epic, person, man. He's, he's yeah, got person, two princesses and like he's like a branching pop. What the shit? Personally, I think I'm a bit more fond of the Rayquaza boss battle, but oh, that was a just cool the one. idea of yeah, just it's just so epic. Plus, beating up a Pokemon such as Rayquaza is kind of satisfying. Yeah, I guess having a Pokemon be a boss in like a fighting game is an interesting idea. And like he's like yeah. a big beast. I don't know. Like he's not like the arms and legs Pokemon that are more in the playable section. Yeah. I think it also, yeah. I, well, I think they really util, utilize the 2D battle as well for that. Yeah. Yeah, like. No, there's a real sense of like epic it really, scale to that fight. Yeah, it really feels like something you'd play, like if you're like doing playing a Pokemon, like 2D action side scroller, like that would be a boss in it. Yeah, it's. I feel like with Pokemon, you often see, like when it's often spin offs and stuff, you're like, oh man, this could be really cool. <laughs> Or like like see, yeah. seeing a more well realized version of that kind of world is always neat. Yeah, no, definitely. And I really wish we could get something like the Subspace Emissary again in the future. Like not that exactly, but like that sort of campaign where it's got like a narrative to it. Yeah. But if it could be, but it's like maybe if they made it a bit smaller to make it like. Yeah. I mean, I think the original was a bit long, or or dre like less padding would be cool if you just made it shorter. Um, yeah, no, definitely. Think of all the cool characters you can put in it now, because it, like, there's like 20 million more characters in Sprawl. Um, I, I agree, definitely. And, like, since we've already been through like some of the... Oh, also, you can make the environments more based on the games that these characters are from. In Subspace Emissary, was, there was a lot of just like, sort of generic areas, which makes sense to an extent. Uh, just because in Brawl, I think they cared a lot more about keeping the aesthetic um, very clean and consistent. But less so now, yeah. so like, just fucking go wild. Put us in Midgar. Hey. Except they wouldn't let us because um, Square Enix is annoying, but, you know. Of course. Have some real lost levels in there. Uh, damn it. I'm going to be hitting that L button way too many times, and I'm not. it's not going to make me happy. Also, can I just say, as a kid, I've spent... like. I have like trauma climbing up this part of the island from being a kid. It looks tough. Like this is like it, it's not that tough. It's just it, it's kind of it's just a bit slow, especially as you're waiting for the windmill. Sure. Well, that's part of that um world internal logic we were talking about in this game, where yeah. it's like they could make a platform come at any time at, for any reason. But like it's part of a create a world building thing that there's a windmill, so you gotta wait. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I don't have much water left. I'm probably gonna have to. If I don't make this, I'm gonna have to go back to it's the not bottom. Epic long jump. Oh no 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 no! Oh no oh, no, no! This was no, the worst no, possible no. way. No, no 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 no! Oh, oh. <laughs> no! You've... Well, time to time to go all the way to the bottom and fill it, refill. I think that would have killed you. No. Oh, uh, great. There's a there's one of those thingies. I guess this oh, game's man. very oh, vertical, shit. so they God have to damn be it. a little bit, um... Why'd I do this to myself? I want to grab one of those coins. Uh, Ooh, do they give you health in this game, or are they just money? Yeah, it's, it, it gives you coins. It gives you a lot of <laughs> Actually, there is, like... I don't know what the coins do. Oh, damn it. I gotta... Okay, so... Playing this on a controller that I'm not used to definitely is going to be my excuse for being bad at this because I mean just just as recently as last year I had replayed this entire game um I get and it, man. finished every level I mean the only level I didn't finish was that goddamn pachinko level which um <laughs> I might attempt on this um let's play series I've seen if, if, video attempting that infamous level and uh I would not wish on my worst enemy yeah well it's. I do wonder, like, depending on like what they've done with um, to make this work on the Switch, if they've improved the physics at all. Because if the phys physics are any better, that stage 
could be more playable. Everything I've seen about these ports online has led me to believe that they're almost completely identical. Um, well, that sounds like that sounds like Nintendo. Yeah, like I, I think they did the bare minimum for this, and like you know, obviously that's partially oh. like COVID was rough on everybody. So I know, but like it it's also the... a bummer. Like if it's gonna be uh, so bare bones, then like it makes the price tag and limited time sting. Damn more. it! Damn it! Damn it! I am starting off great with this. <laughs> Let's Dude, play we already. had such a chill vibe going for this Let's Play, and now you're filling with rage. God, man, damn it, shit. It's like, first episode, I'm just zooming through these levels. Like, yeah, I'm maybe having a little bit of difficulty with. So if, nope, this whole this whole episode is just going to be me beating Petey Piranha. Because, of course. That's okay. Oh. I guess it's continuity. Yeah, I guess. I guess. You're not, you're not wrong. It's, it's a nice episodic format. Defeat Petey Piranha mm -hmm. is a good thing to do with an episode. Because, mm -hmm. uh, low-key, like... Okay, so a little um, back, so we're given like my experience with gaming. As I was saying, this is my first game. Because it was my first game, um, you can you can imagine I was never the best with saves or like or I wasn't the best gamer. Yeah. So like when when I was especially really young, I didn't really beat. Like, I really struggled to beat this game. Sure. Which also meant, but because this was also my only game, I would, I would get to points where I couldn't beat it anymore, and I just restart the game. Just so I could have more to play without being frustrated. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, that's the type of gamer I was. Like, I, I'm not the best at like, like, not getting overly frustrated and wanting to give up on a game. But when you're a kid and you only have a few games, it's like, well, guess I'm just restarting the game from scratch because I can't beat it anymore. I mean, when I was and a then, kid, it wasn't even so much like the the this probably game's too hard. I'm stopping here. For me, I was like. I was actively a little bit scared of the later portions of games. I I, oh. I often liked the starting area where like things weren't too uh, intense. Like it, like I felt like um, maybe it was because I had an older brother that like played the same games as me. But like I would be scared to play the parts that from later on that I felt were like that I thought he could do but I couldn't do. Yeah. No. See, since I since I was the older brother, I was the one that was like expecting to. Ex like the one playing games first and having to beat things and whatnot. Right. Yeah. I'm sure you had a bit less of a of a complex. Yeah. Petey, no. So this is like the first being the first boss, and I mean actually this is probably like this is actually a really good boss fight. But this is a really like it, it builds off the mechanics you already know from those like other mini bosses, where it's like oh he opens his mouth, fill it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's simple. That's what that's what you're doing with the other mini bosses, and it's like, okay, just keep doing that. See, this is scary. I understand the child itself. This is this is a terrifying encounter. Oh yeah, this game just has like this. What's really cool about this game is this, despite the um, like really like sunny, chillaxed atmosphere. Like, oh, it's oh, it's a resort. This game is fucking creepy and like. <laughs> Unnerve it's a very unnerving game. It's and that clash is kind of amazing. I, uh, yeah, well that seems like a thing that would be unlikely to happen in, in a current Mario game, you know, because they're so, they've now nailed down the aesthetic so well that um I I mean I say that but like Odyssey is kind of weird <laughs> in a lot of ways, but I don't know. I, I like it when Nintendo is allowed to get a little bit strange. Like uh, like, ma oh, see, like, the, like Majora's Mask. They tell you exactly so what to do. Like, don't you just love how they just tell you exactly what to do yeah. right there? It's like, oh, there's a belly. I mean, if you didn't know that you could ground pound, and like that's a whole other story. But it like it tell it telegraphs where you need to go. Yeah, I, I guess it's the first boss, so I'll give it some slack. But yeah. Oh, cool. some oh some of the later bosses are just awful. Oh, damn it. <laughs> The, the buttons aren't what you expect, so like for this, I like have to like. Oh, damn it, that's not it. Well, like, fuck. What was they the... should really let you set the button. It should not be like this, you know. Nintendo okay, games. It's don't R2. Let you okay, it's R two. Okay, okay, it's R two. R two is the um. See, I was sitting R. But yeah. anyways, you were saying like yeah, Majora's Mask was really creepy, but I feel like that really works for like a Mar like a uh, Legend of Zelda sort of game you know what I mean like because those are more a bit more combat orientated and 
like uh, puzzle solving and whatnot. Where Mario's always been kind of like this. Like, oh man, that wasn't even the real PD Prada. It was just a bunch of ink. Oh. Hmm. Well, good to know. Good. Or if you're a kid, you think you just murdered a plant monster. Yeah, that's what I would have assumed. I didn't. I didn't know the lore on ink manifestations. Loki's shine sprites are best collectible. Don't at me. They have dots on them. Yeah, it's like it's like collecting a star, but like they're like so much pointier. Aren't they way less pointy because they're rounded off? That too. Oh man, we got a new area coming up. It's literally the opposite sort of pointier. Let's see, what was this over here? Oh, I think okay. This is a, I'm not ready for that. There's a th that's like you spray it, and then I think another X shows up, and you have to hurry up and within a certain amount of time sp spray the other X. I really enjoyed how um, in. I remember having this feeling that like seeing Mario with his hat off for even a second was like a rare treat. Yeah, I know. You, you get a lot of... It's like you get quite a bit of that in this game. If I'm, if I recall correctly. Cool. I'm looking forward to more of Mario's sweet dude. I will say, one of the things that really sets Sunshine apart as opposed to some other Mario games is rather than just... Rather than like being a... It being difficult through platforming puzzles, this game's a lot more difficult just like thinking outside of the box puzzle and execution with the whole water mechanic well they like they found a gimmick like, and they committed to it oh yeah like because like when you think of when you think of like mario especially modern mario it's just it's a lot of like platforming challenges or get the right power up to do the right thing you, there is like the only power ups in here are alter like alterations to your to your mount um, no. yeah to your mount and then Yoshi as well. The Yoshi segments can be awful because of reasons. But the um, there are platforming sections in this. Oh damn it! There are platforming puzzles in this like in this game, but those aren't even like the most hard parts. Like when I think of hard stuff, I think of Pachinko. I think of the lo boat lava, like the lava boat at the end of the game. Oh, I think of the rocket launching boss. Like there's a, there's a there's a boss where you're shooting rocket launch like rockets at it, and it's it, it's not the traditional like Mario difficulty that you would think. That also is partially why I love it so much because I'm not particularly big into platformers. Right. So yeah. You pre you prefer um, egg rollers. Yeah. yeah. Well, absolutely. Why what did I be? Like, fuck, I'm chanting this charm to this day. You don't know what that means because you've never played the game, but... Oh. Man, one of these days I gotta play Billy Hatcher for you. I'd be so... I'd be so happy if we got, like, a Switch version of Billy Hatcher. That would make yeah, me, like... Yeah, give us Billy Hatcher Remastered, bros. Yeah. Bring Billy back. I... Yeah, speaking My of dad's name Remasters, is Bill. Like, Have I said yeah... that before? Oh, no. You should ask him if he rolls giant eggs. I will. Or if he has done that in the past... <laughs> but you, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll do, he you'll, like you'll takes sure me to like own, the closet you're... and he's like it's been a long time uh, I've been waiting to finally open up about this and he like pulls out his fucking Billy Hatcher costume and starts reminiscing about the old days and then he's like and then he tells you like it's like it's, it's finally your turn to um take on the mantle as the oh god as the <laughs> it's time we finally had a wanna... brown Billy Hatcher you know we've, we've yes. been waiting People, the people have been waiting years to finally. Ha uh, the minority communities have been waiting for a Billy Hatcher that looks like them, that, that they can look up to, like everyone else yeah. in society does. And yeah. I will be your minority they're, they're, Billy Hatcher. Yep, yeah, yeah, there'll, there'll be no backlash. Everyone will love it, and it'll be the highest selling Billy Hatcher game ever. Sure, though, I don't know if that's saying much. <laughs> <laughs> um. uh, no, but. Um, we, we were, we were like earlier talking about like how scummy it is that this only has limited release, but at the same time, it's also a really good deal. It's like sixty dollars for three like full like Super Mario games. Yeah, well, fucking tell that to like the fucking Crash Bandicoot like actual remake and the bajillionly amazingly done new graphics that has three games in them and is cheaper than this, and I isn't mean, for a limited right. time. Look, I know that they're just going I above and right. beyond. Uh, but like, come on, dude. These are like three ROMs. 
I know. I mean, you're right. I just like, and they probably. It is a good collection. Don't get me wrong. These are good games. You know. I mean, they're Nintendo. Some of I Nintendo's mean, finest. I just hate giving them even I mean, a semblance get, of a pause for this. I mean, at the same time, you also get the entire soundtracks for all three games on this console. Like, well, like with um the game itself. Sure. And I think that's, and like, not gonna lie, um. This soundtrack's ballers. Um, Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack is nuts. That game soundtrack is like, incredible. Um, it's one of the most inspired choices about it. You know, that game just rules because, like, like it, it really feels like it. They really had a great idea and like they just nailed it. Um, like compared to like, this game, which I think people see it a lot more as like cool, but like a bit flawed or or a bit rough around the yeah. edges. Um, well, I think Galaxy pretty much nailed everything it was trying to do. Which doesn't even necessarily well, mean think, it's a better uh, game, but you know what I'm saying. Well, I, I would say the difference with um, Galaxy's um, soundtrack is I think Galaxy's soundtrack is epic, but this soundtrack is more on the lines of just being super atmospheric and setting the... Oh, I, lo I love this game's like, music from what I've seen. Yeah. They, they both do totally different yeah. things. like, And, and, and they, they fit their purpose very well. Like This one really does make you feel like you're on a nice resort island and, and you can just relax. And, and, and it's really catchy in a Mario way. Um, Actually, I could I could say that the Galaxy soundtrack is really not very Mario y. Like this yeah, is like no. a Mario version of a nice island, which is really well done. And Galaxy is just like, let's put in the most epic fucking tracks ever. Um and it'll be cool because it's just just supposed to get the cartoon character. Mm. It's like some Disney shit or some Ghibli shit where there's like this real sense of wonder and scale because of the score. Um, something that's really, something that's really that's bothering me with this is like how the water's sputtering out. Like, like I'm pretty sure in the original one you could just like keep spraying water until the thing was gone, but here it's like you've only got a um, like it, it kind of like has a cooldown on it, which is really annoying when you're trying to do things like this. You know what's upsetting? I want to have this. I want to play this game. It looks cool, and I'd like to play it on Switch rather oh, yeah. than an emulator. Uh, but like. Fuck, I, I don't want to spend that much money for the three ROMs, and especially not when they're fucking over the the populace with it. I Sorry, I, I don't mean to derail the entire Let's Play just complaining about the release. I know it's been done to death, but uh, I just wanted to tell the people of Bros in a Landfill stand on this on this incredibly important social issue. Let's see if I can. Oh, uh, almost. Oh, uh, nah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, you're close. Um, I like the thought. No, but at least. Okay, so I'm, at the very least, I've got that up. That means I can um. I can hop on those things. Um, I don't remember if those guys, those guys over there will will, will chuck me. Maybe like, they'll chuck me in the right direction. Hmm. Dude, you know uh, what? You just reminded me. I love Charge and Chucks from Super Mario World, and I'm really happy that they're in some of the newer uh, Mario's again. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Dude, you want to talk about, like, um, freaking Nintendo not, like, being as precious with its, like, ideas of its main franchises? You know, Goomba, right? The most, like, famous enemy ever. I, totally iconic. Mario's game about jumping. Those are the first things you jump on. In Super Mario World, they're like, fuck it. Let's redesign them. They look different. And you can't even kill them just by jumping on them. They changed like everything that about how a Goomba works, just cause. They're like, eh, let's make it different this time. What a weird game. Yeah, but um, I think we're coming up to the. T oh, I should probably freaking break these real fast. Um, this is gonna make it so much easier later. Um, excuse me as I don't remember the button that I used to kill PD Piranha with. Oof, there we go. Um, I think there's one more over here. Uh, we're, are get... we coming up on, uh, episode yeah. two of Bros? And yeah. Like yeah, we're, we're, we're about done. What do the blue coins yeah. do, by the way? Okay. Are they important for being what? the game, the blue coins? Oh yeah, um, you can trade in blue coins for shine sprites. Oh cool, I like that. That sounds like a fun idea. Although I've heard that like getting yeah. all of them is a nightmare. It is. Like this is a, this is an awful game to complete, and there's no real good completion reward, anyways. Mm. You know what? So I so I almost 
100% at Super Mario 3D World, except I couldn't beat the final level at Snow Long after doing everything else. One day I need to come but back I to it. But I think I think I think we've hit our, our point. We've got um a big funny tentacle thing right here. Perfect way to start an episode off tomorrow, don't you think? What a cliffhanger! What is Tribin gonna do with that giant tentacle? But that's for next time in Brazil Eiffel. If you've liked the video, um, make sure to like it, subscribe, leave a comment, and check out our other stuff. Um, I recommended Super Mario, well, Super Mario Guide enough, no, Super Monkey Ball Guide in last time. Um, this time I think I want to recommend our Super Paper Mario if you want to hear me and I have Tar on that one as well. And we're doing funny voices to Super um, Paper Mario, the coolest Paper Mario game, don't at me. Ooh. Um, if not, um, feel free to check the rest of our episode. We do podcasts and Let's Plays every other Friday and then podcasts every, well, not podcasts, um, Let's Plays every Monday. Um, see you next time on Bros in a Landfill and peace. Peace out! That was embarrassing. <laughs>